Curtis. Hello, Pussycat. Yes, it's almost Christmas. Almost Christmas. Yes. We're all alone. Nobody's booked. Booked in. So it's just you and me. Again at Christmas. So Brutus, the tree is ready. The tree is ready. Let's go and take a look. Parrots need to be moved. There's some mobs down there, which is good. And the tree is looking mighty fine. Mighty fine. But it's almost Christmas. Let's go and take a look at the tree. Maybe we should name some of those mobs. Do do do. Looking good. Looking good. The tree is looking fine. Almost Christmas. Almost Christmas. I think we need to go to sleep. Go to sleep. For Christmas will be tomorrow. All the presents are already lined up. So sleeping time. To bed. Christmas Eve. Christmas! Christmas! Happy Christmas to you. Ladies, gentlemen, everyone. Happy Christmas! 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 I love Christmas! I hope you do. And I hope you're having a very fine and wonderful Christmas day. Or if you're watching this later, I hope you had a very wonderful and fabulous Christmas day. Now, Christmas cake. It's got to be. It's cake. It's Christmas. It's Christmas cake. We need to go and have a look and see if Santa was kind enough to visit us. Could have been good. It could have been good. Oops, don't want to do that. Christmas tree. I have been good. Honest. Okay, maybe not 100% of the time. Maybe. Let's see if Santa visited us. I'm scared now. Okay, let's have a look. Some Christmas boxes there. Oh, there there's some fins. Llama. Hello. Don't make rude noises. It's Christmas. You're my Christmas present from Santa. Did you help pull the sleigh? Well, you're too small to. Did you help pull the sleigh, you kind, wonderful thing? Oh, I wish you could give them hugs. You took a book. Oh, look. I have llamas. We need to build them. An island or something. Um, oh yes, loads of ideas. Loads and loads of ideas. Santa's given us llamas. The tree looks nice. Let's see if he gave us anything else. Not that we would want anything else other than you guys. Some people want kittens or puppies for Christmas. We got llamas. I'm happy about that too. <gasps> Another star. That is so kind. Shulker box. We've only got two, so that's really good. We need to go to the end and the end cities. And a spare elytra. It's not been enchanted, but that's not a problem. Thank you, Santa. Thank you, Santa. From me and the llamas. Oh, they've grown up. We have <laughs> four grown-up llamas. How cool is that? 
let's go and do our reading. We'll go and sit with Brutus next to the fireplace. So, shortcut. Never use the main door. <laughs> Just click it that way. Parrot's being noisy. Where's Brutus? Hello, Brutus. Hello. Now, cake. So, you ready for this? Are you ready? Sit comfortably, get your mince pies and your glass of milk. And where shall begin? It was the night before Christmas by Clement Clark Moore. So this is quite an old poem. 1822, but you will recognize it. Ooh, that's good. There we go. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama, in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down, settled our brains for our long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a glisten of midday to the objects below. When what to my wandering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his course as they came and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, on Prancer, on Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donna and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wind hurricane flew, they met with an obstacle, mount to the sky, so up to the house top. The courses they flew with their sled full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof a prancing and pouring of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was all dressed in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes, of course, were all tarnished with ash and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His drool little mouth was drawn up like a bow and his beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it circled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl of full jelly. He was a chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twizzle of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk and laid a finger aside his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, he had drove, out of sight. Happy Christmas to all, 
and to all a good night. Happy Christmas and may the new year bring you all that you desire. Work hard, be kind to each other, but almost always be true to yourself. From Red and Brutus and the new llamas, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. <laughs>